Okay, good evening everyone. This is our Tuesday night class for August the 17th. This is the mindset section and I'm going to be discussing 10 suggestions to follow during the journey. You have a choice. Now I put this in a report that was in the daily report actually and I, you can follow this because a lot of this was written in the daily report and I want to make sure that everybody has access to that. Uh, each of us are different beings. We each have different learning curves and sometimes we struggle with our confidence in pushing the button maintaining or following a specific trading plan even with all the tools that we provide. Number one, you need to be flexible. You need to fully grasp and understand that until you locate your specific trading personality, you need to be flexible and testing all types of theories. That's the main purpose for having a practice regimen account. You need to copy and paste all your trades and keep in the journal. Now those of you that hate journals, we understand who you are. Guess what? You can use the daily report that already has several pages, it's already got the trade recommendations, and you can copy and paste and put it in a journal, and any trades that you execute, just make mental notes. Then you can file those reports by the week, put them in a folder, have them by each month, and you'll have at your fingertips all the information that you need. I've heard of people doing it in as little as 15 minutes a day, 10 to 15 minutes a day. All executed trades for 30, 60, 90 days up to six months and then all of a sudden you can start coming back and seeing how trends unfold in front of you visually. This is yet another tool. Interesting enough, I'm seeing some people, and I want to bring this to everybody's attention, if you've taken the attachment to money survey and you haven't taken it for at least three months, go through the process again. I've had about seven uh, of the clients who have sent me some extraordinary improvement from the first or second time they've taken the attachment to money to where they resign, reside at now. Not resign, but reside. So if you reside right now in a situation to where you are improving your mindset and overcoming attachment to money, that means this class has a lot to do with it. And I want to encourage those of you who have not taken it in at least three months to go ahead and do it again. You need to define your specific trading plan for a practice regiment demo trading. Many people get upset when they first start or even they, it's hard for them to overcome because they, their emotion or lack of discipline is the main enemy of every trader. What happens is they're afraid that because they burn up a demo account, that all of a sudden they're creating bad habits. It's, that's the further from the truth. You are testing theories so you can hone your skills and retrain your subconscious mind to be able to have the right type of mindset and right type of trading methodology that's going to lead you to success and give you confidence in pushing the button. You want to have confidence in pushing the button in the currency pair that you're stocking. But what happens is most people, because they don't have the faith, they don't have the, the ability to continue on as they allow emotion or self-doubt uh, self to control their life. Number four, you want to define your specific training plan for live training. What's really funny is of late, since we've kind of focused on some day trading, there's some of you that are out there saying, hey, I kind of like this day trading. I like this scalping. Some of you are becoming different types of traders. Some of you are scalping every now and then instead of doing it on a consistent basis, but you're waiting patiently for everything to line up so you can take a possible swing trade and move it into a position trade. I encourage that. The more that you're able to learn, the more proficient you're going to be in your specific trading. You need to follow the rules of engagement until you've generated positive pips in a live account before making adjustments, such as more lots, risk management, zero risk strategy. If you're not getting involved in the gravy train zero risk, if you're not understanding your risk management, leverage your margin. If you're trying to put too many lots on, then all you're going to do is start to revert back to old habits because you have not been trade, uh, trained, excuse me, 
and being consistent. Trading is not a, gr a get rich quick scheme or business, folks. It's a profession that needs to be mastered in order for you to be profitable. Trading should be enjoyable and fun. If it's not fun for you, then you're going to be doing it wrong and you're in the wrong business. So as we continue, number six, every exercise that we have at OU Forex Trader is done for a reason. Do you know the reason in advance of why you're pushing the button in a practice regimen account? Do you understand why you're testing various theories and trying to learn how to prosper in the markets? If not, you need to write down the reasoning behind the exercise and what you're trying to accomplish and put it in your journal. If you don't, you will not learn in three months from now or four no months from now when you have not kept a decent journal, you won't be learning what you're learning currently. It will just, you cannot trust your memory. Folks, learning to trade successfully in the Forex market demands participation. That's what we do. We're traders. We trade. You're in it for a marathon, not a 100-meter dash. Now, sometimes success comes with a prize. Why? Because you want to trade for a living, but you don't want to put forth the effort to try to learn how to do it. Too many times people join the journey, and they have been laid off from their work. They've just heard about the Forex is the next Baskin-Robbins flavor of the week as they're searching for something to do that's going to pay them for no work at all, and they think that in 30 days they can learn how to do it and be successful. Well, if they're part of the PM manager, they might be able to survive, but unless they're going to do that, that makes it impossible. You must not have unrealistic expectations. See, you must participate more. Everyone must seek knowledge on a daily basis. In anything that you do in life, that's what we're here for. We can look back on life, and, and I think I've shared this analogy many times. I enjoy going to a nursing homes or enjoy going to talking to people who are retired, who have more wisdom and knowledge and have lived through difficult and different times. I've talked to people who have lived through with no electricity, who have lived through the depression, actual depression, people who have lived through the Dust Bowl, people who have, were, you know, their families have faced a lot of adversity and then seen how those people's responded and how happy they are. If they live this long in their life, they must have been happy because they have life to live for. Most people that are misery usually pass away because they've done drove everybody around them crazy because misery is seeking company. You must become a student or a client of substance. Ask questions. Share the journey. Speak about the currency pair that you're stocking. You know, like-minded individuals is what you're looking for. That's what we have here. You must reduce debt. Now, this is something that we have tried to pound into submission of everybody that's been part of this class. You must reduce debt. There's no way you can be a slave to debt, paying the debt master 20, 25, 30% on a credit card to where when you're making a minimum payment, it's going to take you 20 years to pay it off or sometimes 30 years. That's like owning a house. Many people won't go through the benefits of saving 20 to 25 percent for a house. Many people have too many material things or want more material things.